Hi everyone, it's Peg, and today I am going to apologize right off. I'm working in the basement. It's about uh, zero Fahrenheit outside. It's cold, and I have my heater running, and I work right next to a furnace and a refrigerator. So if you hear noises in the background, I apologize. But what I'm going to do is to follow the steps. There are eight steps in the monthly mission inspiration uh, <clears throat> controls for February and these are offered to us from Stephen Bland and it's on MikeDeaconArt.com that uh, organizes this each month. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. So I'm just taking a page that has some ink and splatter and stuff spilled on it because the colors that are suggested are brown, red, and orange and I already have some of those colors on this page. So I'm going to start by working with that. And it says cover the page with tissue, text, or newsprint. So I have some tissue paper that has, you know, just mop-up stuff from when I was jelly printing or painting or something. And so I'm going to put some of that tissue down on the page. I have no idea where I'm going with this. I'm just doing as directed with the prompts. Um, I'll try to pull things together later because... You know, I haven't really, I don't, when I do these, I don't sit down and think about what are all of these steps and how am I going to do them. And I, I just follow the steps and play with it and have fun. So then it says, add a thin coat of spritzed ink or color. So I'm going to grab some uh, different colors and I'm going to put those into the background. Um, the first one I grab has way too much pink in it. It's more of a magenta. So I'm kind of mopping that off and I'm going to try to find a more true red. <laughs> and I grab my DecoArt Media Red, which is much better for this, and um, add that to the page and a few other sprays. And yeah, now it says add tinted texture paste through a stencil. So I've got this, I think this is Ranger Texture Paste and some Deco Art. Uh, what color is that? It's probably like a raw sienna or something um, that I'm mixing into that paste to give it some color. And I have a Tim Holtz stencil, which is kind of like um, tire treads. And I figured, eh, this page is going someplace. Let's put tire treads on it. So I grabbed that. And I'm just going to apply some of that texture paste through the stencil onto my background. Um, and later on, I decide, well, I kind of got wild and crazy with that because there was an awful lot of texture paste. But, you know, like I said, I didn't really have a direction. I was just playing. So, and I had all this texture paste, so I had to use it up, right? <laughs> okay. So I let that dry. Um, what you see dragging along there is I have decided, I was watching, who was it? I was watching somebody do a video and they were using cling wrap to mask with. And I thought, well, well that's brilliant, you know. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm following that lead uh, because, you know, you can use it to put your paint on. It's easy to clean up. So, okay. So um, the next step says... Add one or more steampunk style focal images. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do the color string of twine? Yeah, I may not have gotten these quite in the right order. I don't know. Um, I videotape this stuff. You know, sometimes I go away, let stuff dry, fix my husband some dinner, whatever, and come back. And I don't always have all of the steps in the right order when I put the videotape together. So we'll see where we go from here. But I'm just creating those focal images now, um, kind of off to the side, probably still waiting for that texture paste to dry because it takes a while. It takes a while for that stuff to dry. And uh, especially anything dimensional on your page, it's going to take a while to dry. So I'm, you know, auditioning, figuring out where I want things to go. Um, I want something behind that gear to make it stand out off the page because the page is dark, the gear is dark, I need something lighter behind it if I want it to show up. Um, I have these wonderful photo images which are, you know, one looks like it might be out in Seattle where, or 
you know, some kind of fair ground. And the other is a touring car where, you know, the family's standing outside the touring car. I have photos like this from my grandparents because that used to be what people did when they went on vacation. They all piled in a big old car like that and they went to see the sights. So, um, I like this. It's, it's, uh, reminiscent of my childhood. So I'm going to glue this stuff down on the page and I'm going to use some double stick tape and adhesive to put that down with because, um, yeah, I want to make sure it stays there and this is dimensional and I want it to stand off the page a little bit because I've got stuff tucked behind. I mean, that gear is, mm, I don't know, eighth inch, quarter inch thick and you need to build up the layers if you're going to put something like that down. Okay, so here comes the uh, cord, the twine that was uh, step number four. And I'm just colorizing that because it says color string or twine to add to the page. So I'm going to use those spritz uh, colors again, just to put some different colors onto the twine. I actually liked the color it was, but you know, I'm following the steps. It's telling me what to do. So Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to change the color. That's what it says to do, so I'm going to do it. And step 6 says add headline quote or phrase. Well, I've already done that. Um like I said, this probably got out of order someplace when I was putting the videotape together. But that's okay cuz you guys get it, you know, it could be in any order. So my headline says the world of reality has its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. And isn't that true? Um, these are Tim Holtz quotes. Um, I don't know where he got them from originally, but I really like them. And so that's what I'm putting on my page. And let's see, step seven says add metallic elements, paint, ink, foil. Well, I'm going to spray some more things into the background. I'm going to use some deco art um, product that's in a copper color just to dry brush onto the surface. Um, and the final step says finish with a frame or border of your choice. I'm just going to take a pen and put some border things around it. Um, the other prompts that were on here were industrial, mechanical, whimsical, revolutionary, futuristic. Well, okay, so I have a bunch of industrial things with my keys and clocks and gears and uh, yeah so I think I've hit all of the prompts that were part of this particular challenge. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, will check down below and find out about this particular Facebook group and the prompts and join us because it is a monthly chomp, a prompt and you can go back and do any of them that are in the group because uh, you're not limited to what you do. So thanks for stopping by today. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And uh, if you want notifications about when I have new content on this channel, then click that little bell down below because uh, then you'll get notifications when I have a new video up. Um, this month I am working on Faces. I'm doing the 29 faces. Shell and I are doing lots of challenges. So, uh, yeah, it's a short month, folks, and I'll try to get as much up here for you as I can. So I'll see you again next time. Thanks for stopping by and leaving me kind comments. I love you guys, and remember, you make a difference. Bye for now.